Inserting nuts, bolts, screws, and washers has gotten much easier with the addition of standard content in Onshape. When inserting into the assembly, you'll see a new option for standard content. This new option will allow you to insert nuts, bolts, screws, and washers according to standard sizes. To insert standard content, simply choose your standard, category, class, and component, then specify things like size and length. After you've done that, click Insert, and that piece of hardware will be attached to your cursor. Every piece of standard content has a built-in mate connector that makes inserting and mating that hardware into place a one-click process. Simply mouse over where you want to place the standard content, left-click, and the standard content will be inserted and mated into place. To make this even easier, we've added the ability to auto-size based on a selection. In our example, I will click the undo command to undo inserting our last bolt, and this time, instead of specifying a size, I will click auto size and select any circular edge or cylindrical face that is the correct size. You can also click on a previously inserted piece of hardware if you want something of the same size. If you select a hole, it's important to note the hole does not need to be created using the Onshape hole feature. But if you've used Onshape's hole feature to create it, it will even find the correct coarse versus fine thread definition that you specified in the hole feature. It will default to coarse otherwise. So after you've used auto size to determine the hole size, select an edge or face of the hole where you want to insert standard content. Select a length and click insert. The standard content that you've selected will then be inserted and mated to that hole. But what about inserting more than one piece of standard content at a time? In our example, we have three eight hole bolt circles and inserting one bolt at a time would be tedious. The key to inserting more than one piece of standard content at a time is selecting a face before clicking insert. So in our example, I will select auto size and select a hole just as I did before. Then select each face that I want to populate with standard content. In this case, all three faces of our flanges. Then click insert and Onshape will automatically populate all holes with bolts. Adding nuts to all these bolts can be done in the same process. Simply select nut, specify the details, then click on the faces of the parts where you want to add nuts. Click insert and nuts will be added to all holes automatically. So what about adding washers? Notice the options to either insert closest to or furthest from the selection. I can choose washer, specify the details of the washer, Click the faces where I want my washers and choose the option to either insert closest or furthest from the selection. It's important to remember a face must be selected when using one of these options. If I choose closest to selection, the washers will be added closest in the stack to the face that I select. And other standard content inserted earlier will be shifted further away. If I choose furthest from selection, the standard content will be inserted at the furthest point in the stack away from the face that I select. The insert closest to or furthest from selection options become especially important when the order of standard content you're inserting is critical. For instance, when inserting a lock washer and a plane washer on the same side of a bolt, it's common for the plane washer to come first, followed by the lock washer. In this example, the plane washer would be inserted closest to the selection, while the lock washer would be inserted furthest from the selection. Another thing to mention about inserting standard content is the ability to customize the part number and description of the standard content you are inserting. In the insert dialog, you will see the option to edit the part number and description. This will allow you to insert your company's part number and description for that piece of standard content. The part number and description will be remembered the next time you insert that piece of standard content. And if anyone else in your company inserts that piece of standard content, it will also come with that part number and description. This ensures that everyone using standard content in your company is using the same parts with the same part numbers and descriptions. One final thing to mention about standard content. After inserting standard content, you will see a special icon for standard content in your instance list. If you want to change the details like the size or length of an individual piece of standard content, right click it in the instance list of the assembly, choose the option to edit standard content instance, change any details that you would like, and then click update. 